Hi friends, I'm Bridget, a certified sleep science coach and mattress expert here at Sleepopolis. And today I am going to be reviewing the Silk and Snow Organic Mattress. I'm going to put it through a variety of tests and let you know how it does on our Sleepopolis scorecard. But before we get going, here are some quick facts you should know about the Silk and Snow Organic. It's an all natural hybrid mattress with latex and coils. A queen size mattress at full retail price is currently about $1,200, but mattress prices do change a lot and we have coupons to help with the cost as well. Just click the link in the description below. The Silk and Snow ships for free and comes with a 100 night trial and a 15 year warranty. It arrives compressed in a box, so give it a day or two to fully expand and release any off gassing smells. Also a heads up, a queen size weighs 92 pounds. So you're definitely going to want to have a friend help you out with this one. If you share the bed with a partner or a pet, then you're going to want to hear about this next test, the motion transfer test. Motion transfer is how movement carries from one side of the bed to the other. So basically, if you're going to feel your partner tossing and turning on the other side, we're going to start out this test with the red wine test, which is a really good visual representation of movement. I put a glass of wine on one side of the bed and then I have my coworker Amelia lay on the other side of the bed and move around to see how it affects it. These were pretty good results. I'd say a four out of five for now, but I want to test it a little further. So I'll replace the wine glass with myself and I'll move around on the other side of the bed and see whether or not Amelia can feel my movements. And she says she gives it a three out of five. So overall, I give it a three and a half out of five for motion isolation. Next up is our edge support test. Edge support is a measure of how well a perimeter of a bed supports weight. So think if you ever sit on the edge of the bed or sleep near it. So to first test it out, I sat on the edge and moved around. I feel good here with only a little bit of sinkage, so I'd give it a three and a half out of five for sitting. Then I laid and moved around on the edge of the bed. I did feel like it was stronger laying down and scored it a four out of five. Overall, I'd give it a 3.75 out of five for edge support. All right, now it's time for the pressure mat test. Although I can tell you that this mattress feels soft to the touch and a little bouncy, the pressure map takes it even further. It uses heat mapping technology to show where pressure is building across my body when I lay on the silk and snow organic. Here's the gist when you're looking at the results. Blues and greens are good and show low pressure. Oranges and reds are bad and show high pressure. You're going to want to see low pressure around your back, hips, and shoulders if you sleep on your back or your side. And when I laid on my back, I saw low pressure pretty much all throughout. But on my side, there was a lot of pressure forming at my hip, which is not a good sign for side sleepers. So overall, I give the Silk and Snow Organic a five out of five for pressure relief for back sleepers and a two and a half out of five for pressure relief for side sleepers. And when it comes to stomach sleepers, it's not about pressure. We're gonna talk more about them in the next section. Now let's go over the different sleeping positions and how they test on the Silk and Snow Organic mattress. Every sleeping position is going to want to have their spine in alignment on a bed, but it takes different qualities out of a mattress to make that happen for each position. Stomach sleepers need a firm mattress to keep their hips elevated and spine in alignment. I consider the Silk and Snow a true medium firm mattress, so I think stomach sleepers will want something firmer. I'd give it a three out of five for stomach sleeping. Side sleepers need some contouring around their shoulder and hip, so I think they do better on a softer mattress. I'd give it a two and a half out of five for side sleeping. While back sleepers need a comfortable and supportive option. They do great on this bed, so I'd give it a nice five out of five for back sleeping. Now let's do the responsiveness test. Responsiveness is how easily you can move around on a mattress. So it's important for combination sleepers or anyone who needs to get in and out of bed without a struggle. Since I don't sink in too much when laying on the silk and snow mattress and it has some bounce to it, I can move around pretty effortlessly. And when I move into a new position, I feel like the bed adjusts well to my new sleeping position. Because of this, I give the silk and snow organic mattress a five out of five for responsiveness. 
All right, now that we've made it through all of our tests, let's crank the numbers and see how the Silk and Snow organic mattress does overall. Now, along with the different tests that I told you about in this video, I'm also going to include other details like its materials, its cooling abilities, and its warranty for the overall score. And when we put it all together and do all of that math, it comes in at a 3.96 out of five. All right, well, I hope you found this review helpful. If you have any questions or want to see any more in-depth product or mattress reviews, just head over to sleepopolis.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button below before you go, and I will see you next time.